I don't even know why. So when blue, I just like blue because it matches my eyes. Um. I don't even know what I have to talk about today. Like, uh, I I'll touch on a subject that 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 was actually very personal and had really happened to me. Um. Okay. True story. Factual, evidential, I have proof, definitive proof that this had happened. Okay. This was almost a year ago. It's been almost a year. Next next month it'll be a year, so it's been 11 months. Um, I was hospitalized for attempted suicide. I tried to kill myself by overdosing on a whole bunch of medication. You know, I tried to overdose on a whole bunch of medication to kill myself because I was so sick with my life and I hated myself. Because I'm an emo. I'm an emo. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow my hair long so I can, you know, do like cut, cover dying over one eye so I could just be like this, walk around like this, and keep doing, doing my hair like you know, doing a little hair thing that they do. I'm trying to. Trying to, trying to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to grow my hair like emo. I'm serious, cause that's what I am. I'm suicidal ass emo ass crazy motherfucker. I know I keep getting off topic in every video I make. I know I do it and I do it to you all the fucking time, and I apologize all the fucking time. I'm sorry. I can't control my brain. I'm not on medication. I quit taking that shit, cause I like to be crazy. I like to be maniacal. I like to be sociopathical. Sociopathic. I, I like to be a sociopath. Okay. Um. So back to the story. Okay. Let me let me get my focus concentration. Back to the story at hand. I was hospitalized, and whilst institutionalized, I had met. I was there for a, a few weeks because it was a suicide attempt, and and, and they they had uh, the doctor had, had had he had refused my release the first time, uh, and um, there was something like uh, the the three o I was three o two, uh, that where they had three o two'd me against my will. I was uh, committed. And, uh, cause obviously I was passed out, overdosed, dead, foaming out of my mouth, and fucking, you know, just like, dead, nearly dead. I'm gonna hang myself outside in front of my tall oak tree in front of my house. Oh, no, wait, I can't do that now, cause the fucking tree got cut down, cause the fucking cable lines had to get installed. Fuck. Anyway, back to the story that hit, I, I keep it out of the air. Sorry, sorry, sorry! Sorry. Back to the story. Whilst institutionalized, I have met this girl. Okay, this girl. She was married. I I had no intentions on even talking to this girl, becoming friends with her. I just wanted to do my time, do my bit, and get the fuck back home and try to kill myself again because that was the plan. But that that's not how it happened. See, we we have been in there for you know two weeks. Well, she she came in like three days after I was in there, three four days after I was in there. So you know, and ironically, our release date was uh, on the same day. We had both got released on Friday, because if we hadn't been released on Friday, we wouldn't had to wait until Monday, because they don't let anybody out on the weekend. So we have been both been released on Friday, and uh, we had got together that following day, she's married, okay, she is married, so we got together, and, um, you know, we swapped our medications, you know, got a little buzz off the little Klonopins, and the Xanax, and, and all the good shit, and smoked some little, smoked some little, smoked a couple of joints, too, you know, so we, we got a little buzz going, alright, everything's cool, you know, we're just chilling, 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 and, um, 
you know, next next time we chill together. Second time we chill. Alright. You know, we chilling back at my house. Alright, you know. Sitting, you know, we're sitting down and everything, just, you know, going, you know, bullshitting and everything. And we smoked a little, smoked a little bit up, you know. Came back to my house and chill, you know. We can watch TV, just relax, whatever. But that's not what had happened. No, what had happened was she had, we were sitting down for a couple minutes. She had just got on top of me, pushed me back, okay. She had pushed me back and, and started taking off her shirt. And started pulling my shirt up, and, you know, wanted to take my clothes off. And, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't opposing. I mean, this is her. I'm just, I mean, I'm just there, you know. I'm collateral damage, you know, because I'm going to hell for this for sure. I fucked, I fucked a married woman. That's like, what, what do they call that? What the hell is that? Adultery? <laughs> That's adultery, infidelity. Yeah, I'm a sinner, I'm a winner, I'm a joker, <laughs> and yeah, I'm a midnight toker, but I don't have any fucking weed right now, my fucking bowl's empty, my sack's empty, my fuck, that's why I need, I need weed to be calm, cause you can see whenever, you notice, it, you, I know you all notice the difference whenever I'm high in a video, whenever I'm sober in a video. Whenever I'm sober, my videos tend to be more all in your face and just like fucking pull the switch and fucking hit that lever and push the button and it's like <laughs> like winning. But whenever my videos where I'm high, it's just like I'm monotonous and just like yeah. and like you can tell it's like you can see in my eyes and it's like. Yeah. And, like, you could just tell whenever I'm, like, you know, when I'm toked out or whatever. It's, like, you got shit to hide? I fucked a married bitch. Now, what are your thoughts on, on, on something of that magnitude in, in a juncture like that? You had just been released from a mental hospital with another woman who was in there for, she was, she was in, she was in there for, like, depression. She was younger than me. I mean, I, I'm almost 31 years old. Okay. Now... She was 26, I want to say. Her husband's like 30, like 35 or something. She, her husband's like way older than me. You know, and, and she's like 26, 27 now. But, um, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Just getting out of a mental uh, mental asylum with, with a, another girl who was in there. She was in there for like bipolar issues or whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck the girls have going on. I mean, fucking bipolar. I'm not bipolar. I'm by winning. By winning. That's what I do. I don't get depressed. I win. I smile. And I laugh. And I cut up. Because I... Even whenever I have... How can I be depressed whenever I have me and like five, six other people all, all up in here that, I, that, that, that keep me fucking occupied? If anything, I get aggravated because I just can't fucking deal with these fucks up here anymore. Get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's, it, it, I just don't understand depression. I don't understand it. Postpartum depression. Whatever the fuck kind of depression you have. Bipolar, manic depression. Whatever the fuck it is. I don't understand it. I, I just don't. Like, what the fuck? What do you gotta be depressed about? What, what do you, what the fuck do you have to be depressed? I mean, I'm, you might be asking, okay, well, well if, you don't, if you're not depressed, why did you commit suicide? Why did you commit suicide? I tried to commit suicide just because I don't fucking want to live anymore, dude. I'm like fucking 31 years old. Like, like, bro, I'm seriously sick of fucking life. I'm just sick of living. After 30 years, I fucking hate, I hate to go out and do what I have to do and fucking, I hate having to go shop and I hate having to go fucking anywhere, man. I, I just hate the fucking monotony of life. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I hate life with a passion. I hate everything about it. I hate not being able to sleep. I hate whenever I do go to sleep and I have fucking crazy ass, weird, wild, goofy ass dreams. I hate being awake with all these fucking crazy ass psychotic tendencies and thoughts and issues going on in my head. And I hate having to eat every day. And I hate having to fucking, you know, just chew food and fucking swallow. Like, I hate the taste of food. After 30 years, I've fucking eaten everything. 
from pussy to fucking asshole. <laughs> and fucking meatloaf to mashed potatoes to fucking turkey and fucking chicken and pizza. I'm sick of everything, bro. I'm sick of fucking eating food. I'm sick of fucking having to digest. And I'm sick of having to fucking take a piss. I'm sick of fucking going to taking a shit. I fucking hate getting a shower. I hate fucking shaving. I fucking hate everything about life. That's what I mean. I just can't deal with it anymore. I fucking hate life. There's, I mean, there's no fucking depression. I'm not depressed. Does this look like a person that's, like, depressed? Do I seriously look like I'm depressed? No. I am a person with fucking serious issues. Yeah, you're, you're looking at a fucking, a person who should be locked away. And the keys should be thrown away because I had thoughts about taking chainsaws and fucking just chopping motherfuckers up. Going to my neighbor's house. Take a chainsaw. Cut his kids up. Cut his baby up. Cut his toddler up. Cut his wife up. Cut him up. Go to my next little neighbor. Do the same thing. Cut them up in itty bitty 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 little pieces. Put them in a bathtub. Turn the cold water on. Go to my neighbor across the street. Go to her house. Duct tape that bitch up. All around the noose. Fucking duct tape her with duct tape. And take a chainsaw. And cut her legs off. And tell her to walk on the stumps. That's the shit that goes through my head. And that was, that's, that was just like somebody else. That's what I cannot stand. I cannot stand being controlled by eight other people in my head. I cannot stand being looked at like I'm crazy all the time. And treated like a like a like a, a hooligan because i'm not i'm i'm really a good person i want you to see the best of me i want everybody to see that, that i am a good person just don't just look past the mental instabilities that i have please just see me for me i will show you it today if you want nah. This video has been too long. I'm just rambling the fuck on. We gotta cut it. Alright. It's been fun. But we gotta go. We'll see you next time.